Good evening and welcome to our office for this evening, Tuesday the 16th of June. The office can be found on page 399 of the prayer book. When we come to, come to the psalm, we'll be saying a portion of Psalm 105 and that can be found on page 333 of the prayer book. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We say together the opening canticle, the Song of the Three. Blessed are you, the God of our forebears, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you, glorious in your holy temple, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you who behold the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. So to our psalm, page 333, we're saying Psalm 105, verses 23 to the end. Then Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. There the Lord made his people fruitful, too numerous for their enemies, whose hearts he turned to hate his people and to deal deceitfully with his servants. Then he sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. Through them he manifested his signs and his wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and it was dark, yet they would not obey his commands. He turned their waters into blood and slew the fish therein. Their country swarmed with frogs, even the inner chambers of their kings. He spoke the word and there came great swarms of flies and gnats within all their borders. He sent them storms of hail and darts of fire into the, their land. He struck their vines and their fig trees and shattered the trees within their borders. He commanded and there came grasshoppers and young locusts without number. They ate up every green thing in the land and devoured the fruit of the soil. He smote all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their strength. He brought Israel out with silver and gold, and not one among their tribes was seen to stumble. Egypt was glad at their going, for dread of Israel had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for a covering, and fire to light the night. People asked, and he brought them quails, and satisfied them with the bread from heaven. He opened a rock, so that the waters gushed, and ran in the parched land like a river. For he had remembered his holy word, that he gave to Abraham his servant. So he led out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy. He gave them the land of the nations, and they took possession of the fruit for which other peoples had toiled, so that they might keep his statutes and faithfully obey his laws. O oh, praise the Lord. God of grace, we thank you for all your gifts to us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy in faith and hope, 
and never defile in love to you and to our sisters and brothers, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, and we're reading chapter 11, verses 16 to 29. I repeat, let no one think that I am a fool, but if you do, then accept me as a fool, so that I too may boast a little. What I am saying in regard to this boastful confidence, I am saying not with the Lord's authority, but as a fool. Since many boast according to human standards, I will also boast. For you gladly put up with fools being wise yourselves. You put up with it when someone makes slaves of you, or preys upon you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or gives you a slap in the face. To my shame, I must say, we were too weak for that. But whenever anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking as if, let me try again, but whatever anyone dares to boast of, I'm speaking as a fool. I also dare to boast of that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like a madman. I am a better one, with greater labours, far more imprisonments, with countless floggings and often near death. Five times I have received from the Jews the forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I received a stoning. Three times I was shipwrecked. For a night and a day I was adrift at sea, on frequent journeys, in danger from rivers, danger from bandits, danger from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers and sisters. In toil and hardship through many a sleepless night, hungry and thirsty, often without food, cold and naked. And besides other things, I am daily under pressure because of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is made to stumble? and I am not indignant. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our second canticle is the Song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis, on page 400. We say it together. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we beseech you to keep your family, the church, in continual godliness, that through your protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve you in good works to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, this evening hour we pray for peace, 
justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights, for the relief of the oppressed, for an end to the sin of racism and the other differences which we allow to divide us. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children and pray your healing of our divisions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for our church as we begin to move out of COVID and plan for our future. We hold before you those changes that may be asked of us in this time. We pray for our Bishop Peter and his ministry team, for the parishes and communities to which we belong. And we particularly remember tonight and pray for the parishes of Toronto, Wingham, Windale and Woiwoi. And we pray for our chaplains to police and to defence forces and to the Anglican Men's Society, for the Anglican Men's Society. We give you thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of the sacraments, and the fellowship of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our local communities and for our community leaders. For our Prime Minister Scott, our Premier Gladys, and those who advise them at this time, and we pray your sustaining grace for them in their leadership and for those on their teams, their leadership teams. We pray for all people in their daily life and work, and for those who at this time are deprived of work. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and all who are alone. And we give you thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in need, for the sick, the sorrowful and the bereaved, and for those for whom we pray regularly, asking your healing grace for them. We pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and all that enriches our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus, the Lord of peace, give us peace at all times and in all ways. Amen.